Hello and welcome back to Disable DM. I'm Jervin DND. Hey, and this is gonna be a quick ick video. Oh, vlog. I recently watched a video by Tabletop Terrors. It's in which Tim and James Kearney had answered a question that was going around at, at the time about five little known RPG facts about them. So I thought I would do a video kind of relaying some of my personal RPG facts that people may not know about me. So, oh, m my biggest one would actually be where the name German D and D came from. Um, it is actually a misspelling of of a uh, Cherokee pigeon in term that my grandfather used to call me a jarine, which means in that particular dialect, Little Warrior. And it was his nickname for me. So, when I got involved playing d and I took that, that name. And I, I had a character, German Man Rider, who was a silver dragon trapped in a human's body. But the human body that I had was of Asian descent and at the time was kind of a monk mage even though back then they didn't really have monks. Uh, so, oh because it was such an important name to me because I really loved that character and played him for a very long time, and plus it was my grandpa's nickname. I took that name German as, as kind of my handle. Oh, and then I just tapped D and D onto it because that's mainly what I played and pretty much my main focus. Although I am hoping to expand, so that would be. Probably the biggest is a number one RPG fact about me. The s second one would be probably a having to do with the first time I ever actually DM'd a session. And, and it was at a local gaming shop in the community that I lived in at that time. And the whole thing was, it was a kind of a tournament of DMs. We were set very specifically. Your players were gladiators that were slaves, apes fighting in the Colosseum to earn enough money to buy their freedom. Um, um, and I ran the entire tournament like, like that, uh, and there really wasn't any real story or plot to it. It was just pretty much straight out fights. I came up with interesting encounters. Was, but one of the things my players really enjoyed that I did was I would use the terrain in against them. Um, and I guess back at that time, most think DMs weren't thinking about how the terrain could affect the combat. So I received some pretty high praise from there. And eventually over time I expanded into being able to DM like I do now. <laughs> I would say the third 
fact that only some people know about out me it is my longest campaign that I ran was 18 months and it was actually a the last bit of almost a four-year period in my life where I had sat under a really excellent DM and set up for quite some time. And this DM owned a very big house and he would let other DMs and about 30 players all crash at his place. Uh, and they ran a 24-7 and game aim where if a DM had to take a break another DM would step in. And for almost three years I was a player there. And then finally I I knew I would be moving in back to my hometown in about two years. So as kind of a thank you, thank you to them for I ran an entire campaign for them. Which went very well and players enjoyed it. The DMs all enjoyed it because it gave them a break. But it was a very interesting setup up and that's part of what got me involved with the online I, games is because I missed that constant uh, gaming um, setup that I had back then. And so these are just a few facts, facts about me that I thought people might find interesting. Thing. And so, as always, may the dice roll in your favor.